at a baseball stadium today, Ohio State and Northwestern. Buckeye fans have been up early. Coming into Wrigley. Talented quarterback in the portal, but he's the perfect guy to operate this offense. I look at this like an orchestra, Jeff. There's so many away from the Buckeyes and put scoring opportunities in the hands of their offense. The other thing is, is they want to lessen the amount of opportunities the Buckeyes offer. Here we go from Wrigley. It'll be a touchback and Northwestern's offense. Four wideouts on the opening play. Lausch going to tuck it and run. That is a big part of this game. Getting rid of the ball field right now. Lausch back to pass. Extra man coming. Heat coming. Down goes Lausch. It's third and 13 for Northwestern. Run the draw play. Cam Porter's got a seam. Porter puts his head down out to the 35-yard line. <laughs> First and 10. Trouble. They set up the screen. Acrobatic catch made by A.J. Hennett. Second down and eight. Handoff again to Porter. Went over that left guard. And he's close to a first. Just to get away. Lausch to pass. Lausch across the middle. First down. He gets his man Bryce Kurtz. And end up going towards Sheffield Avenue. Porter gets it. A hellacious hit and driven backward. To at least. Not easy to hold. Lausch to pass him over the middle. Catch made. And near the red. And off Hyman, left side, puts his head down and picks up three. Drive, chewing up better than six minutes. Lausch to pass, pressure coming. Lausch is going to get rid of it. First incompletion of the game for Lausch. Use his legs. Slip one, ball is out. Ohio State recovers, and they're going the other way. Deep. Lost Josh Simmons in the Oregon game. You have to bump out Donovan Jackson to left tackle. Oh, no. They get better and better every single week. Aiden Hubbard, they're going to have to step up. As we mentioned, this Ohio State wide receiver room is elite. Oh, what a move by Judkins. He just shed that would-be tackler. Going to pass. Howard flushed out to the left and just throw it away. Offense. He handed off on second and ten. Judkins leans. He's so challenging to stop. Third down and six. Howard hits the slant route. Carnell. Judkins back in on third and short. Judkins gets it, makes a move, and picks up the first down. Slow down these Buckeye wide receivers. They're going to try and throw for it. Apuka did the smart thing and just put it in his back. Offensively, but then they made a mistake. Here, I got an opportunity defensively to get off the field. Jeremiah Smith, his first catch, a stiff arm and gets out of bounds. Third and ten. Howard looking that way. Smith is there! Touchdown, Buckeyes! Out. See if the replay officials want to take another look at this one. What an effort, though. Man, that did look like it moved. Two. The ball hit the ground. It's an incomplete pass. Fourth down, Ohio State. Buckeye fans this disbelief. Joe McGuire going to try and pin him deep. Pooch kick. Fair catch called for and secured inside the 10 yard line. Northwestern has been great on just that first pitch about 100 times. And grew up coming to games here, gets it out, quickly does Lausch to Kurtz for his in team into something special. Pressure coming, Kurtz, back shoulder, catch me. And just gave his guy a chance in one-on-one -on -one coverage, they're excited to get Bryce Kurtz back for that exact reef progressed. That was great location on that ball. Hyman gets the carry and Hyman pushes the pile forward for a couple. State offense, fewer opportunities, that's going to keep this game close. Lausch. Deep ball to the corner, and an offense. Lausch, design run. Jeff. Third and one for Northwestern. Porter puts his head down and picks up the first down to the 31. First and 10, Northwestern. Lausch, deep ball, incomplete. Good job by Jack Lausch. He knows he's not going to have a ton of time today. He got the Lausch. Pressure coming. Sawyer had a shot, got rid of it incomplete. Nice movement. Routine, and it's made a noticeable difference, he was telling me, and just helping. Outfield prospect before signing with Northwestern to play football. Lausch across the middle. Kurtz is there, and he's got another first. Him just enough time to work those routes downfield. Second drive into the red zone. Play action pass, it's tipped. 
It was going back the other way, and it was owing to the football, aggressive, wanting to make that play, but there was no one in the back. And inside the red zone for a second consecutive drive. Porter carries, spins inside the 10-yard line. Behind it, and a good job there by Porter getting up to that. Lausch going to run. Lausch, touchdown, Northwestern. His team on the last drive with a fumble. This time he won. Lausch having an outstanding game. Kick is up. Kick is good. 7-0 Northwestern. Fumbling on the first drive and, and leading his team on a nice scoring drive there. Henderson going to return it. Good coverage. Today's coaching profile sponsored by Discover. Ryan Day, 1-2 and two in the FBA. Short down the stretch of these seasons. So having Chip call the plays gives him, frees him up to go spend time with the rest of the team. Howard on the toss to Henderson, trying to get to the outside, and tripped up. Tackle by Josh. And listen, but with the game plans again. Pressure coming from the backside, got rid of it. Abuka with a first down and more for Ohio State. That was an eyelash. The drive for Ohio State. Howard to pitch to the outside. Henderson gets to the outside. He's out of bounds. College football. They don't have a weakness. Howard to pass, looking middle, it's incomplete. Intended for Ohio State can feel they're not going to have many opportunities without Northwestern's trying to control the clock. Judkins gets the carry, shed one tackle, and then Howard to pass on third and three. Incomplete. Tried to get it to July. Five. Howard again to throw. Jeremiah Smith, first down, Buckeyes. Fourth down and Timeout called by Northwestern. Didn't like what they saw with the defensive the alignment. We'll take the timeout from Rick to the backfield on first down and 10 for Ohio State. Pressure coming. Henderson survives one hit and then brought down. Makes something out of nothing. Pass by Howard. Secure catch. Jeremiah Smith stays in bounds and now a pair of why, why the offense is so good down here. He said the players just make plays. Howard across the middle. Finds Howard under center. Howard hands it off, Judkins barrels his way through, touchdown, Buckeye. Easily gets in for the score. Extra point is up and good into the back row of the bleachers. And the Bears for all the photos as we kick it away following the touchdown drive. And let's go downstairs to Brooke. Hope, but believe that they can win this game. You can tell he's pleased with what he's seeing and he wants to... Wow, all kinds of time. Looking downfield, looking deep, and it is incomplete what she did there but just to, just to talk about that yes Northwestern is moving the ball and, and well play a little bit more shell coverage and, and let the game come to you good run across the 30-yard line by allowing it there there's a difference between hope and belief and not how everything's been going according to plan four and five on third downs bad snap and Northwestern jumps up and what you saw there was a critical mistake and another one right here bad snap Renner Gets it away. Mayor, seriously, we're just opening this drive talking about how well Northwestern had executed their game plan. And there's Caden Curry who got Whistles and timeout Ohio State. Timeout, Ohio State. Give credit They're to David Adolph, by the way. Break the plane. Let's see. What a great shot by our crew. You see the ball, the ball's down by his belt. He wasn't able to get Judkins up the gut, his second score of the game. Of course, Donovan Jackson, we've mentioned him a few times. So dominant down in the trenches. 14-7, Ohio. Joe Hyman back deep. Fair catch called for, let's go. They're going to have to make it work. I oh, think so much, Brooke. It's 50 steps upstairs if you want to get to the visiting clubhouse. So they'll use the batting tunnel just off of... Picked up three on first down, Lounge to pass, running out of time, gets rid of it. Across the 30, staying on his right now. Oregon's in third and three. Lausch running out of time and gets rid of it. That was the smart move by Lausch. He adds, the ball was legally grounded out of bounds. Fourth down. Would have been the first penalty of the game for e Better snap. Got the kick away. Abuka calls for the fair catch, and he's able to pull it in. Henderson gets the carry, still driving those legs. Out to the 27-yard line. Howard to throw. Howard across the middle. Catch! Hit the seam route. Per
perfectly to G. Scott. Go to timeouts for Ohio State. Howard back to pass. And he'll throw it away into foul territory against the linebacker. Henderson gets the carry up the middle. Will Howard extremely comfortable. Henderson again sidestepping his way forward for a couple. What's been great too, 3,000 yard backs for Ohio State. Howard going to the pylon. Catch! Touchdown! And once again, Will Howard showing off the accuracy and ball location. Carnell Tate winning one-on-one -on -one coverage. Move on offense. Back in 30 seconds. 27 seconds. Lausch runs and he's close to 30 ball popped out but they're going to say he was false start offense number 87 five yard penalty remains first down tight end thomas Third gordon down. handed off to porter porter hit at about the 25 yard line in this second quarter handed off porter's got it and they're trying to rip the ball out smartly no way to time Hold off the two for one, scored the Carnell Tate touchdown reception. Quinn should be in 28 to 7. Henderson, returnable. Trying the left side, flat. I asked him what his message was to his team at halftime. He said, listen, we've proven that we can play against these guys and execute. On this first down and 10 from the 10. Judkins gets the carry and picks up two or three. Able to be so dominant in the third quarter. Gave him three yards on first down. Judkins gets it again. Wrapped up by Devin Turner. Smith is there to make the catch. And Jeremiah Smith in open space down the sideline. Still on his feet. With just four catches. Into the red zone. Howard to pass again. Howard into the flat. Brandon Innes. Almost all of his throws today, Jeff. Fitting on a base. Beckett in one. Hand off instead. They pull it out. It's Tate again. Carnell. Carnell Tate, the best wide receiver three in college football. The good job. Then it was Tate for the homer. <laughs> Fielding kicks it away. We saw Jeremiah Smith limping towards the... Team over just to check on his guy there, give him a little dab up. We know how important Jeremiah... Last couple of drives ending in punt tries. Porter carries, Porter hit, survives one, and then brought down by Arbel Reese and company. Lausch. And it's incomplete. Knocked away by Sonny Styles, who is super athlete at his position. Columbus kid. Columbus. Third down and ten. Set up the wide receiver screen. Henning has it. Henning through a seam. Going to be close. And that's in the first three. Porter going to get the catch this time. Puts the brakes on and then pushed out. The room for Northwestern has been beat up all year. Just talking to Zach. Pressure coming. Porter gets it and then brought down. That is going to be a flag as four flags come. Asking, ripping it back. Oh, thank goodness Cam Porter stays in the game. You know, in the offseason for Ohio State territory for a third time goes Northwestern. They get it to the outside. That's pinning on the carry and a big hit by Cody. Second and six. Lausch flushed. And throws it out of bounds. Lausch took a late hit. Third down and six here on the plus side of the field. And timeout going to be used by timeout. Northwestern. That play clock was getting down to one. They're first of the half. Lausch on third down. Lausch trying to get to the sideline. And he'll be pushed out of bounds. Four down Terrence here. It's a long two. Lausch keeps. Lausch pushes forward. He was able to lunge. Today, but that time did it with his legs. First and ten, pressure coming, got it out, incomplete. He's tough, and you love that, but it's almost aggressive and tough to a fault sometimes. And as you mentioned, first half, Lausch slips it to the outside, Porter makes the catch. Porter trying to make a man miss, and a sure tackle by Jordan Hill. Staying in great shape. Lausch to pass again, set up that wide out screen. It's Marshall letting it tight. Third and eight, Lausch. Sandwiched Cody Simon. Lathan Ransom is a great example of that. A guy that's overcome injury. Lausch across the middle. Broken up. Igbenosen got his hands on. Other side of this timeout, Ryan Day and his Ohio State squad rolling. Ohio State has played in a major league stadium.
Gutkin's better than six. Put it in the belly. There is a huge hole. Henderson in that offensive line. A move him now. Howard to pass. Howard to the backside to Henderson who makes the catch. A stutter step. And out of bounds. Business end of that. Judkins will get the carry. Judkins breaks a tackle down the sideline, pushed out of bounds. Judkins gets it again right side. Judkins to the 15. Like it's the tight end, G. Scott. Take a quick timeout at Wrigley. Right to his tricep. Probably a dead arm situation. He was able to get up and walk off the field, which is encouraging. Jalen paints a Going to toss outside. Jeremiah Smith brought down. Good to see him. According to plan, Ohio State still has seven more games potentially to play. Out of bounds. It's either going to be incomplete or not. It'll be impossible to stop. 28-yard try from Fielding. And it's up and good. 31. Remarkable. Banks of Lake Michigan, the Banks of Lake Erie, Big10plus.com. Jack set up shot from the 25-yard line. Front of the valley of Joe Hyman, and he's close to the 30-yard line. Hero Canoe. Hyman in the backfield. Walsh had it on the ground.